Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session Thursday, 21st of June 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store, or certainly visit www.tradesignal.com for certain links. Okay, now in terms of the European markets this morning, uh, again, Asian markets down overnight to a large extent. You have China. Uh, Hang Seng and Shanghai certainly under pressure on the back of the trade war concerns uh, after yesterday's reprieve certainly short-lived to a large extent in terms of the um, European markets they certainly are royal this morning uh, as well on the back of uh, concerns regarding uh, the uh, euro skeptics certainly coming into play uh, we have uh, two potential euro skeptics in play especially with Mr the likes of uh, Alberto Bagnai certainly being uh, uh, certainly uh, being promoted uh, and therefore uh, certainly is being interpreted as being risk off especially with the euro usd certainly moving lower uh, yields spiking as well especially in italy italian markets certainly coming off uh, again that certainly raises further concerns in the eurozone especially with miss merkel's situation at present regarding in, in immigration okay so that's basically a status quo uh, that we uh, have there in terms of the us dollar us dollar certainly uh, reaching uh, a new high so again that's certainly raising further concerns we have the uh, ongoing um, uncertainty regarding OPEC as well as to uh, OPEC's potential response. So let's see what OPEC has to uh, uh, come, uh, come certainly bring forth now. Uh, we are hearing news with regards to Saudi potentially uh, obviously gaining ground, hence the reason why the FTSE certainly has come under pressure as well. Although Iranian uh, support certainly was uh, being uh, taken into consideration this morning uh, and that certainly seems to have uh, been wiped out by now. Either way, I still think that the uh, the actual oil output increase certainly won't be as high as anybody expects, and therefore that should certainly help stabilize oil and keep oil afloat as well. Uh, U.S. equities certainly under pressure quite significantly, but S&P back down 27.60, Nasdaq back down to 72.70 after hitting above 73.30 overnight. Okay, in terms of uh, European markets, it certainly seems it's all about the euro skeptic potential individual uh, certainly gaining support, and therefore obviously that's causing further concerns in Europe. Uh, obviously a uncertainty regarding OPEC and we also have the BOE as well decision in the next 60 minutes or so again that should be interesting as to uh, which way Mr Carney certainly swings okay yeah, in terms of the rest of the day nothing really major other than US jobless claims okay so keep an eye on that and we also have a Carney speech in the evening at 9pm so keep an eye on that too in terms of the fundamental, or should we say technicals now, let's just bring up the German DAX. Now, the German DAX is testing that key support zone around the 12,600, okay? We have cracked below 12,600 now. We are looking to potentially close that gap at 12,500. The pivot low uh, from the last uh, potential sell-off there, uh, we're certainly testing. We failed to hold that gap fill support. And at the moment, we are now into this key zone, a key support zone, which is around the 12. 550 so certainly looking for that to hold if that fails and you are looking to go down to 12500 looking to potentially close the gap there so keep an eye on that uh, potential uh, next support zone we do have the unfilled gap left open above at 12830 then obviously you've got 13000 as well uh, and again it certainly seems to be immigration concerns at present okay so keep an eye on the german dax there 10 minute chart certainly flushing further in terms of the rest of the uh, european equities let's just bring up the french gap again obviously with german dax coming under pressure the French CAC certainly would come under pressure as well, especially uncertainty regarding OPEC, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so that's basically where we stand there. Uh, again, we're testing that FIB 50%. If we continue to move lower, then the only uh, potential uh, uh, zone that I can see at the moment, you've got gap fill at 5150, and that's quite a prolific fall. Uh, you do have previous resistance equal support in this zone here. Okay, a uh, potential gap here, previous resistance equal support. Uh, really weak supports to a large extent. So just keep an eye on that situation okay uh the only thing that's certainly supporting the euros at europe at the moment and it certainly is mr draghi certainly being dovish yesterday and that's the the position that i'm certainly taking uh certainly tilting towards that certainly expecting draghi or dovish draghi certainly to help europe out as well it's the doldrums also obviously a weaker euro as well that certainly will uh, certainly help as well you do have two unfilled gaps above for the french cac at 5450 and then you've got another gap at uh, 5 500 so watch out for those if there are if there is a short squeeze in terms of FTSE 100, let's just bring up that index for you as well. Okay, so again, like I said, FTSE certainly has been held ransom by the OPEC meeting. Yesterday's pivot low certainly was uh, quite considerable. So again, that certainly look, is looking to hold. Uh, on daily charts certainly respected. Now you've got a pip, bottoming tail and a topping tail. So 
impressive price action. Again, like I said, uncertainty regarding OPEC. Uh, in terms of yesterday's thrust, that certainly has to be respected from my perspective. Okay, certainly looking for the uh, FTSE now to uh, potentially push higher. Uh, we had a key support zone here, which obviously has failed at 7640. The next one you're looking at now is going to be around the uh, 7610. And uh, you've got support here at uh, 7620 as well. So again, looking for this as a zone to hold. It is the FIB retracement at 50%. Okay, certainly looking for a pivot low now. Okay, on the FTSE, looking for a higher low and looking to potentially push higher. So watch out for a potential thrust on the FTSE 100. Okay, especially given going into that BOE meeting now. One could argue there is an inverted head and shoulders brewing as well. So you've got left shoulder here. Okay, head obviously has gone in right shoulder and looking to potentially rip higher on the back of BOE okay and also on the back of OPEC as well so take those two things into consideration okay from uh, certainly uh, so an argument there uh, I'm certainly supporting that at present certainly looking for a bullish move higher okay uh, I think that's a good summation really of European equities uh, German DAX certainly holding on to critical support French cap critical support Eurozone certainly under pressure on the back of obviously uh, rising yields in Italy and this so-called euro skeptic individual certainly being promoted. It's no wonder why Mr. Draghi was certainly dovish yesterday. Okay, we although we have had Mr. Nowotny with his saber rattling, a hawkish rhetoric, arguing that at the end of QE, QE, etc., etc., etc. Either way, uh, well, Euro 1.15 certainly is bullish for Euro European exports, and therefore uh, uh, dovish measures certainly should uh, resonate and uh, should certainly trigger a potential short squeeze. So certainly await that short squeeze at present. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus. And be sure to visit TradeSignal, download the latest app. Goodbye now.